Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Optos. Um, <clears throat> wanted to make a video here because we gained some some massive momentum overnight in the in the Asian session, uh, and quite a lot of you are interested in in Sui. So quite a lot of you might also be interested in my in my in my Optos content. Optos, if you compare it to Su Sui right now, is definitely the more bullish crypto um, uh, out of the two. And to start off with a fun fact. I actually wanted to take a trade on Optos right here at, at 6.4, uh, all, all, all the way down here at the middle of September, but it missed my entry. Like I, I, I had my entry at like 6.5 and it, it just never retested that. Um, so that was a shame, but uh, but no, Optos in general, very bullish, very bullish structure here. Um, I think the network is doing great as well. I, I heard quite a lot about Optos meme coins, etc. On, uh, on on X and I saw some, some posts um, I saw some posts going around around uh, around that, so that's interesting. <clears throat> so just wanted to give you my thoughts on this because this is obviously, if you see these moves, and if you if you compare the chart right here with the momentum, which you can see down here, you can see that there's uh, something interesting going on with Optos to say the least. Uh, we're also at a at a very crucial resistance level here around eleven dollars, as you can see historically. That's a crucial crucial level. Um, and historically also a very strong resistance level. So then the question is, is well, can we break that, etc., which we'll talk about. Um, but yeah, so enough to talk about. So let's get right into it. First of all, when we talk about the fundamentals here, fundamentals are fine. Daily active addresses <clears throat> are up quite a bit. Uh, DEX trading volumes were up quite a bit um, in the middle of October. Right now they've dropped down a bit. It's, it's always like the... Um, the, the uh, trustworthiness of, of this data is always, uh, like it, it, it can always be contested, but overall I, I do trust this data. So this is fundament fundamentally not necessarily bullish. The total value locked is obviously going up, but that is because of the price of Optos. So for me, the big question is, is that, all right, well, we, we have this structure where this is obviously bullish, right? There's, there's a clear uptrend in the price right here. There's a clear uh, ascending uh, ascending channel going on here so the big question is as well can we actually continue this up to the next target which in my eyes would be around 12.5 12.5 is the next psychological resistance level it's also a respected level right here as you can see between 12.5 and 13 so the big question is as well can we actually get this move and i'll be straight with you i'll be honest with you i it really depends on, on this candle close right historically like i said $11 is a very important level, especially this level right here. Well, no, it's, it's really 11. Like the bigger level is between 10 and 11. Uh, but above $10, we, we, we have already broken above $10. And $10 really doesn't pull the weight anymore that it did. So the main thing that we, we, we'd have to see right now is with the next 12-hour time frame candle, can we get the breakout? And at the moment, I think ultimately looking at the markets and looking at how strong the market is, I think ultimately I do think we're going to break out and rally up to 12.5 and 13. Um, it's in line with the trend. The structure hasn't been broken. Um, there, there's obviously something or someone pushing up those. So the usual best strategy is to, to, uh, to, to presume, to, to speculate that that's going to continue. So that's why <clears throat> I do think it's most likely we'll, we'll do that. However, I think on the short term, it's more likely that we will not break out. So not in, a in, in the next 24 hours. Um, what you can see is that usually after such a big spike in open interest, which is very similar to, to what we saw last, uh, last uh, like 10 days ago or something, usually we have a bit of a cool down period. Bitcoin is also not as strong as it was the other times that we pumped up. We are at a very strong resistance level. So I would say that maybe we'll spike up a bit higher, but I do think it will turn into a fake out consolidation before later this month um, uh, getting the real breakout. <clears throat> that's what I would say. That, that, that's more in line with the markets right now. That's still in line with the structure that Optos is in right now. And it's in line with the fundamentals. So I'd say that's most likely. Um, if you're interested in this, though, I'll, I'll keep you updated on, on this scenario <clears throat> and if anything changes. So let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye.